you were talking to Mr. Gear. Yeah. I like your slippers, boy. Where'd you get them? <laughs> <laughs> <You're retarded. laughs> I'm retarded. I'm gonna keep you that ear like that. <laughs> I just thought I was being a retarded or something. Central Street, right down there, I need to take the third bus in the AM of 7 <laughs> to Elm. <laughs> uh, do you know where Elm is? Oh, you can take the next bus. Alright, I'll sit here with you and wait. Can I have some of your chocolates? No, my mama said life was always like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Never give them up to strangers. 
That's very nice. Do you want to hear a story? Sure. <laughs> One day in Vietnam, <laughs> we was walking like we always do. And we were always looking out for a guy named Charlie. <laughs> now, I've never seen Charlie, nor do I know what his ethnic background was. But I had a feeling that he was out to get me. <laughs> so, we walk in and it started raining. And it didn't stop for three weeks. I've seen every kind of rain there is. <laughs> Big old fat rain. <laughs> Stinging rain. Rain that would come in sideways. And sometimes rain that would come up from underneath. <clears throat> sometimes me and Bubba, Bubba was my best friend. We, we would sleep together <laughs> back to back so we didn't have to sleep with our heads in the mud. Bubba was a good friend. He was my only friend. But about this guy named Charlie, <laughs> I had my gun drawn and I come from Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. So, I saw Charlie walking across the meadow and I aimed at his forehead. I had pulled the trigger and I had killed Charlie. But the problem was, I was shot in the buttocks. You know what the good thing about being wounded was? I could get all the free ice cream I wanted. <laughs> And while I was in the bed, Lieutenant Dan would sleep right next to me. He was my lieutenant. <laughs> we would stay up all night talking about King Pong and how he lost his legs and others. <laughs> that, that, that was a good time. And then after that, I started playing professional ping pong and they invited me to China. And I played ping pong with the Chinese. Now, let me tell you that they were very small people. <laughs> they could hit that ball as fast as 174 miles per hour. And I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was scared. And then Jenny. <laughs> Jenny always told me, Forrest, if you're in any kind of trouble, just run run as fast as you can. So I was at the ping pong table and this little Chinese man was baiting me pretty badly. So I took Jenny's advice and I ran. I ran as fast as I could all the way to Tokyo. <laughs> and when I got to Tokyo, I got me a plane and I flew home. To see Mama in Mobile, Alabama. But Mama, <laughs> <laughs> this is my bus. I have to go. Mama was sick. <laughs> she was very sick. 